Alright guys, so I received a request to go over the multi-mod manager that we use to install WAD files. Um, or that I use to install WAD files that I used in all of my videos. So, we're going to go ahead and head over to it real quick. Okay, so, the only thing we really need to know about this is the WAD manager. We will get into detail with that here in a minute. We're going to start at the App Manager. This is nothing more than the screen we just saw a minute ago when we selected the Multi-Mod Manager. The only difference is it's not really in list form. It's got a picture with it, and then it's got the name plus a little something about the, you know, the application. So we're going to click on this real quick. Got all these here. So if I click on MMM, which is Multi-Mod Manager, it's going to pop me right back to the home screen. If I click on Nintendo, it's going to pop me over to the Nintendo game list here that I have. So we'll go ahead and exit that. So I hope that kind of explains, you know, the app manager a little bit because there's nothing really to it and we don't need it. Here is your app manager. This is your app manager, basically. What I'm talking about, see it's in list form. Yaboos, it says what it is, Sega Saturn Emulator, Nintendo 64, so it tells you the name of it, tells you a description. It's much better than using the list form in Multimod Manager. So on to the next one, which I believe was iOS. iOS, so this is the same thing if you watched my videos, the D2X CIOS installer, the custom iOS. Look here, used by me, news, weather, photo channels. Um, this would be something that we did not change. This is standard that came with a Nintendo Wii, but if you remember right, I believe it was 236 through 250. Yeah, those are all ones that we had changed. So this, we don't need to use it anymore. We're running on, I believe, uh, I believe, yeah, currently loaded iOS 58. So everything that I've ran into in the past couple years I've had my Wii modded, all the applications, the games, everything has ran fine on 58. So we're not going to change anything here. Now WAD Manager. If you uh, watched my video or any video because you have to do this when you installed those 30 WAD files in the beginning of the mod, well, when you want to add new WAD files, what you have to do is you have to find them you have to, like when I upload them, I zip them up so it's, you know, a smaller upload and everything's in one place. So you have to unzip that, drag everything in that folder, all the WAD files, over to the WAD folder that's on the root of your SD card. Um, so it's going to mix in with all of the other ones you've installed, you know, and all that. So you kind of have to remember what you're putting in there, what you've already installed. Um, it's a lot easier to just remember, you know, the newest ones you put on there. So we'll check out WAD Manager really quick. Now let me make an example here. If I was to press A to launch back up the Homebrew channel, press A to proceed, press B to return. Now I've already installed it, so I'm not going to proceed. If you have not, which you should have in those those first 30 WADs, um, if you have not, you know, do it. So same thing with this. If I wanted to, let's say for the GameCube install, because there's, I believe, eight WADs you have to install, you would press the plus button. That marks it for a batch install. What a batch install does is you can select multiple files and with the click of one button they will all pop up on a list and they will install. And that one's one of them. That one's not. That one is. That one is. That one is. And I think that was it. That was it. So, if I wanted to proceed with installing those GameCube files, I'd press A. They all pop up right, right, you know, right there. Um, so you'd press A to proceed, and it would install all eight of those, you know, nonstop from the first one to that eighth one. So it saves you quite a bit of time. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to proceed because I have already done this. So I'm going to hit the back button, hit the back button, back button. Manage preloader. Uh, I have another video explaining everything about Preloader. It's a good video. I have had no complaints on it. So if you want to know more about it, just go there. Um, it's honestly, I mean, it's self-explanatory. You're going to click on it. There's going to be some things you don't want to change, but let's say like block online updates, block disk updates, region unlock your console, stuff like that, you know, you might want to change. 
managed system menu that's just if you want to you know use a different menu version you don't want to because everything that we have installed right now coincides with 4.3 now if you had your system modded on 4.1 4.2 and now you're modding it on 4.3 you'd have no problem switching back and forth because you still have some of those files that are compatible with you know point one and point two but since I don't there's no reason to go you know go through that the region, North America, I'm not going to change it. I have mine region unlocked, and I'm from North America. So, manage Wii channels. That's just the ones that came installed with the system. Uh, shop channel, internet, photo, photo 1.1, me channel, news, weather. Uh, we don't want to change any of that. We don't want to change the region. Well, I don't anyways. So, back button. Install and patch iOS 3.6. Now, we've already done that. If you guys followed my video, we installed the Preloader 2.3.6 mod, which overwrote that. Um, so we have no reason to go through and you know mess with that at all. Remove stubbed iOSs. If you want to remove the custom iOSs that we installed with the D2X CIOS installer, this is where you would go. If you don't want your Wii modded anymore, you want to delete everything, this is the first step. Um, display boot 2 information. The boot 2 is something that came with the first string, which, you know, the first generation of Wii, so the first handful they released could get boot 2. So I've ran into a few of them, but I've never personally owned a boot 2 Wii. If you do have the option in the beginning when you're installing the homebrew channel and then installing boot, you know, boot me as an iOS, if it comes up, install boot 2, do it. Because that is, I mean, the only way you can brick your Wii, honestly, is if you purposely try and brick your Wii. It's I've never seen a Wii brick, let alone with Boot 2. So, display the system info, version 4.3 on iOS 80. The iOS 80 came stock with the Wii, so it's not going to change just because we installed some CIOSs, because I don't believe that we overwrote 80. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Console region USA, video standard NTSC, I'm from North America, so... Um, console nickname, yeah, I just threw in, you know, some random crap there. Screen format, screen resolution, burn-in reduction off, sensor bar position, for some reason it's on the bottom, as, you know, my sensor bar is on top of my gigantic TV. So, uh, sound mode stereo, we connect 24s on for some reason, standby modes on, um, the end user license has been accepted, I have six registered Wii remotes. Uh, no parental controls set up because, I mean, if my two-year-old can figure out how to start messing with stuff on her, I'll give her a trophy for it. No, but anyway, so that's that. Now load another iOS. Like I said, iOS 58, I've ran into no problems with iOS 58. Everything so far runs off of it, so I highly doubt any of you guys are going to have you know any problems. If you want to load a different iOS, you want to load it from 236 on up to 250. Highly not rec you know not recommended there, but if you do happen to run into a problem over and over and over, you can try switching that. Just remember what iOS you came from. So other than that, guys, that is basically the video right there. Um, there's nothing more to go over. Um, Wii Mod is basically the same thing. The same tools are in there. They've got slightly different names, like wh it's, instead of App Manager, it says Application Manager and whatnot. I'm not going to go over it because it's not what I use. So, and like, like I said, it's basically the same thing. We'll take a look at it really quick. There's some extras in there that we really don't need to go over because there's no, there's no help to us. Um, as soon as it loads up here, iOS is, we've already, you know, gone over this. It's a little bit different layout. Channels, we've already gone over that. System menu, we've already gone over that. WAD manager. Oops. App loader. My bad. It's called app loader, not application loader. So, change iOS. We don't want to. You can check them if you want. No point. No point to go to this. Don't dump any hashes. Don't do anything. Other menu. Like I said, you know, we've already done all of this. There's no reason to fake sign it because we've already overwritten it with 236. And even right here, switch to preloader. That way we can switch to it and install the 236 mod. So, advanced menu, don't need to go into that. Boot 2, explain that in the last one. Wii system info. And then the disclaimer and credits, you know, the people who designed this awesome program. Um, 
So anyways, guys, that's the video. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I've got a couple more to do tonight. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope that I went over enough. If I didn't go over enough and you would like to know more, um, just you know, message me. Email me, you know, h4ckgaming712 at outlook.com. Let me know what you're having problems with, and I'll do my very best to try and help you. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe. I have a uh, giveaway going on right now, and I plan on doing a lot more if the subscribers keep going up. All right, everybody, have a good one.